Hey, 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 family, it's your girl, Evelyn of The Evelyn Inc. And I'm back for another video. And this one, again, is going to be another freestyle Chatty Cathy video. I don't even know where I get that phrase, Chatty Cathy. It's a thing. Anyway, so, okay, so recently, let me tell you, let me just tell you, I've just been shouting out women that I enjoy consuming their content. So in another video, I was talking about like Life Coach Sean and Gaia Smith and God's Design and Ashley um, Empowers. In this video, this video was inspired by my favorite internet cousin, Evelyn from the Internet. Now, um, if you do not know who Evelyn from the Internet is, I'm really not sure you're tapped into black millennial content creator culture because she's that girl. Anyway, I had the I had the pleasure of meeting Evelyn three years ago. We both in Texas. She's in Austin. I'm in Dallas. Um, when she was working with another company, she hit me up. We did a project together. It was amazing. I will link to her channel and to the two videos that she basically wrote and filmed and all that that we did together below. But anyway, this video that I'm about to do today is inspired by one of her recent videos. And shout out to her for the consistency. Girl, I know you used to say that we see you on the internet somewhere by and that you really weren't ever gonna be into doing a schedule, but can I tell you I am living, I am loving. Okay, thank you very much. Anyway, so she basically, she was doing it, she did a video not too long ago. I don't know when you're gonna see this video, but she did a video not too long ago and it was talking about the five love languages. Now, I have been on the love languages for years, I mean, I, I think I was in my 20s when I first discovered the love language. That's how long uh, the love languages have been around. And um, I'm very clear on my love language. I'm very clear on how um, other people's love languages, how that affects relationships, how we love other people based on their language, not on what we would want, all that kind of stuff. But as I was watching the video, it was a great video. Like, listen, if you like my videos are like I cut the camera on, I talk and then I cut it off. Like her videos are so well done. It's just a pleasure. Go watch her. And she's hilarious. I digress. But after watching her video, it reminded me of something that Yaya Smith, the one I talked about who talks about femininity and, and being using femininity in every area of your life. And femininity is not necessarily just about romantic relationships, but how that applies in multiple areas. And so um, she had went on a personal retreat. Y'all know how I feel about personal retreats. I have a video about it. Go check it out. Anyway, let me get back to the point. So personal retreat love languages, how do these two go together? You're asking me, Evelyn, this Evelyn, not Evelyn from the internet. Anyway, and I was thinking about this and I was like, when it comes to self-care, y'all know I love talking about self-care in a very strategic way. The question I had to ask myself was, was I loving myself through my own love language? Um, or was I loving myself or, or taking care of myself through what other people told me self-care should be? Um, and you guys know, I believe in self, there's self-maintenance and there's self-care, right? And so I really started to think about this because my love language is, if you're curious, is quality time, more specifically conversations, shouldn't be a shocker as I'm a talker, um, acts of service and gifts. Th those are, that's like across the board. Quality time is like far at the top. Like, you know, I love you. If I want to chat and hang out with you, you know, I'm mad if I don't really want to talk to you. That's just kind of how that works. Um, acts of service and gifts. Actually, I think gifts is second. Acts of acts of service is third. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I'll leave a link to the book. Um, and in Evelyn's video, she links to the quiz. And I will say this. I think the quiz is fantastic. I think once you read the book and you know that even underneath each one of those are some subcategories, which is why I know mine is quality time conversations, whereas someone like my mother... It's quality time activities. So I'll give an example. For years, I used to buy my mom things that she said she wanted and she would never use them. And y'all, I'm talking about like expensive, like expensive stuff. And we used to get into <laughs> we used to get into it because I'd be like, you say you wanted this, but you never used it. And when I started buying her experiences, 
Like, let's go to the spa together. Let's go to this musical together. I mean, the woman was on cloud nine, right? And so um, loving her and her love languages and knowing that quality time for her is she wants to be doing something together, quality time for me is I want to sit down. I want your undivided attention and I want to be having a conversation. So with that being said, I asked myself, based on my love languages, was I loving and caring for myself through my own love languages? Was I spending quality time with my own thoughts? Okay, gifts. Was 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 I buying things for me to love on me, to care on me? And where I was I doing things for myself that were important for me? They may not necessarily be fun. Acts of service usually is not fun, but the, but but was I doing the things that I know I needed to do to um, enjoy my life in a certain area? And so I want to pose the same question to you: that what are you doing in your life based on your love language? Yes. You want to love other people through their love language, and that's important. But since I'm talking about self-care and self-maintenance over here, are you loving yourself through your own love language? So if your love language is like physical touch, right? Um, Are you getting massages? Are you wearing, you know, silk and cashmere and things that feel good on your skin? Are you um, getting hugs from people, right? Like... How are you loving on yourself from a physical touch standpoint? If words of affirmation is your love language, how are you talking to yourself? You know, like I I have affirmations that I write out every year. They change every so often. I record them and then I listen to them in the morning. Even though words of affirmation is not my top, if, if my top love language, it actually ranks fairly low. But if you read the book, you understand that we all need all the love languages. We just need them in varying capacities. And so um, the reason why I mentioned Yaya Smith, you know, um, um, creator of the feminist success movement, is because she went on a, tr- on a retreat and one of her love languages, it, one of her top love languages is gifts. And so what she did is that she bought herself some things that would be arriving at her house at the same time she was getting back from her retreat, right? So it was like, you know, happy birthday, Merry Christmas, happy Kwanzaa, happy Hanukkah. Like, it was like she was loving herself in that way. And so between her and Evelyn's recent video, I was like, you know, I need to self-respect, uh, self-reflect. And this goes back to our find your flavor curating versus collected. Was I just doing self-care the way I thought it should be done? Like, you know, it, I, I talk all the time that, you know, self-care is not necessarily bubble baths and candles. It is for some people, not knocking that. That can be a portion of self-care. But I was like, self-care for me is like, I want to buy myself something. And I used to make that wrong because I was like, oh, you know, that's, you know, you see all these things like X amount of ways to reward yourself without spending money. And it's like, but that's my love language. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to, I'm going to reward myself. And um, anyway, that's pretty much it for this video. So let me know in the comments below, one, what your top three love languages are and what are you doing or what are you going to start doing to um, love on yourself via your own love language. So I hope y'all are enjoying these like chatty Kathy videos. I don't have bullet points. It's just me talking from the hip, old school, YouTube style. There's no fancy editing or anything like that. Um, I hope you are enjoying it. I'm enjoying it. I miss this. Like, I'm a talker, y'all know videos be long, but like some of my best performing videos, at least my what I call talking head videos, are videos where I just was talking off the hip. So let me know. Um, if you're not following me on Instagram at the Evelyn Inc., I would love to connect with you over there. And y'all, if y'all are enjoying these kind of videos, then the community that I'm putting together that I talked about in my previous video, you are going to love, love, love that. Um, I want to do it right. And I want to make sure that I have the right group of women, um, in this 
in this in this community and so i we can go deeper on these kinds of things and we can actually do the work and not just talk about it so um i'm excited i'm super i'm i'm so excited i'm so excited for that and uh listen if you've been rocking for me with a long time i appreciate you okay i do i really really do right here right here anyway that's it and i will see you in my next video peace